Hello there, and welcome to an episode of Rants. It's Chris Andrew, of course. And, uh, well, it's just a quick uh, preview for uh, tomorrow's match uh, between Spurs and Everton. I'll be there, um, hopefully enjoying a good performance um, uh, and hopefully getting three points. The way the fallout that has, has occurred after the uh, 1-1 draw against uh, Leicester, I kind of understand it. I do, in a way, but... Um, as I said, as I said in the group, there was uh, tons of positives that I could take from that game, and um, I left with, with a smile on my face. I know that got a couple of people in the group angry, but I left a smile on my face because we created chances, and they say that you should be worried if you don't create anything. We created bare chances, man, and uh, just for um, either poor finishing or just a bit of profligacy, we couldn't get that second, third, or even fourth goal that our performance in that first half deserved. And then obviously we ran out of steam in, on the 60th minute. And that um, hurt us really, really badly. Because um, obviously Leicester scored. And, and then Mark Vardy there, as I think we said at the time there. And then um, could have had a second goal as well. And then obviously the issue with uh, with Rodri at the end where um, he was knocked out unconscious. And um, thankfully he's okay. But that's what, what, that's what brings us onto this team news now. Um, we, we, we also saw uh, Pedro Porro um, limp uh, uh, during that game, but um looks like he's been past fit, so he'll be available to play. But the ones who will be missing are uh, Rodrigo Bentoncourt. Uh, Rodri, um, obviously, after being knocked out um, against uh, against Leicester, so um, the um, um, the concussion protocol substitution was used in that game, which is what Archie was playing. And... Um, and uh, yeah, and the prognosis for him is, is okay, but um, obviously he needs to rest now. And the second player who's a bit of a, bit of a surprise, uh, Dominic Solanke, has been um, ruled out. Um, he did pick, pick up a bit of a knock after the game, but um, he played on. Um, but it looks like it's flared up really, really badly um, in the during this time that um, during this time as well. So um, yeah, a bit of a this is a bit of a shame for him because. Um, Obviously, a new signing, so I wanted to get embedded into the team. But hopefully, it'll just be a minor knock that just needs to be rested. And um, that's what we've got a big squad for. So, if you have someone who has, who has a minor knock, they won't be forced to play. We'll have someone who, um, um, in, the, in, in the squad who could come up and take his place, and that will probably be Rich Allison. Um, but uh, I'll just read some of what um, Andrew Bostokoglu has said uh, regarding um, um, regarding the, the, the game. Um, let's see. It's unfortunate for Rodrigo as he had a good game on Monday, uh, on Monday night. Biss is available, but we've got other options there. Uh, Pedro is fine. He trained this week and he, we have no concerns. Um, irrespective of concussion protocols, uh, any head injury, we all, we've always got to be more Ooh. conservative from my perspective. He'll bounce back uh, really well. I was talking about uh, Rodrigo here. Um, he's done all the tests and he feels good, but we'll take our time with Rod Rodrigo to make sure he's absolutely 100% before we put him out there again. Um, and then he talks about Solanke. He says um, Dominic picked up a knock in the last game. Um, he got through the game, but he but he flared up the day after and he'll miss tomorrow. So um, that's unfortunate. That's a really unfortunate because it um, looked like he was... Uh, he, had, he had a couple of good chances, uh, decent enough opportunities, and he put himself about a about very well, led the line very, very well. So it will be a shame to admit that he won't be there. Um, and uh, there aren't any other news, bits of news there, although, uh, yeah, it does say that, that, that Basuma will return to the squad after his um, one-game suspension for um, uh, recreational use, re recreational activities, I should say. Um, but it looks like um, it might not play, just, just judging by... Um, uh, Poster Cogler's words there. Now, uh, this is available, but we've got other options there. So, um, yeah, it'll be so. Uh, hopefully, um, the likes of uh, Rodrigo Bentancourt and um, uh, Dominic Solanke uh, get uh, better real quick, real soon. Um, so, this will be my team news, I would say. Um, the back four will pick itself, real back four, I should say, because uh, Vicario will be the, the player and goal. He did get a bit of. Um, well, there was a question asked in the group about um, whether he was right to have a go at uh, um, Bergvall um, and really have a go at him. If you remember on the live stream where Shuban and I said, well, I said to Shuban that um, 
he's having to go at the wrong player there. He should really have a go at Romero uh, for playing um, Bergvall into such a stupid position where he was marked out the game. All, he, all Bergvall had to do was kind of hold onto the ball and wait for assistance. He held onto the ball, no assistance came. So um, he ended up having to go backwards and then he ended up um, uh, losing the ball. But the but the reaction from, from Vicario was directed at the wrong player. And that's where my issue is. A lot of people said, yeah, he'll learn... Um, um, great, um, Berkvall will learn from that, but he didn't need to, shouldn't have to learn from it. That was not his, that was not his error. He was given a ball in an impossible position. And although he can hold onto the ball well, he can't do that when there's two players on the, uh, two players on his tail and he's facing towards his own goal. That's, that's not possible. And that any person that, that can, can be blamed for that is Romero, putting him in that position. Then again, Romero also was also at fault for the um, equalizer as well. So, um, if Vicario did want to uh, show some teeth, he should, he really could have had a go at, um, Romero there for um, giving away the goal and then giving away the ball, really. So, um, but yeah, Vicaro will start um, and uh, the defence will pick itself, as I say. Um, Udogia um, will be on, on the left. Uh, Fonda Venn will be on, on the centre-left. Centre uh, Romero, of course, centre-right. And um, Pedro Porro, pass fit. Although he was limping throughout the uh, for for um for the last uh, fifteen minutes of the of the game, he's passed fit as well. So he'll be he'll start. Got his first goal of the season and um uh, against Leicester. So um he'll be buzzing and he'll be looking forward to to, to playing. Um, there's no suggestion that he'll be rested. So yeah, I think a pair of uh, better Opora will start. And so it is going to be in uh, central midfield, which will be the issue. I know that um Bissouma is back and um. But the sounds of it, um, he's going to be on the bench. So I would say, I would say that I would want Archie Gray to start. And why not? I mean, I've heard a couple of um, Spurs YouTubers going on about um, the younger players and how they're all for the future, completely disregarding everything that Ange Postecoglou has said. I don't know what the agenda is on that, and I don't know what the thinking is behind that, but um, these players are for now. Bergfire would not be playing if he was not for now. Um, and um, Archer Gray is definitely for now as well. So um, he's going to start. I, I think he will start anyway. At least I hope he will start. But um, I do think he will start. But this is who I think will play and who I'd like to see play as well. And the Archie Gray. Because he's probably the only recognisable number six that we have there. And people say he's not number six, he's a right back, which completely disregards everything that um, Archie Gray says as well. <laughs> it's, a, it's like... It's like uh, some people have a complete agenda when it comes to uh, the players that we have, but it is what it is. Archer Gray will start, I will think, in, in, um, in, ten, in central midfield and in the pivot will be uh, Pat Matassar. He came in for a bit of stick from um, some certain fans, but I thought he actually had a good, a, a decent enough game. You know, got forward well and uh, defended well as well, put in a, a, a couple of good tackles and um, and tried to drive the ball forward. I thought he was all right. Played all right, I thought. And then this is where the, the issue lies. Will Madison start? Because he actually grew into the game against Leicester. He they started off kind of shoddily, um, losing the ball a couple of times, but then he started to dictate the position. He started to dictate the um the game, he started to uh, dictate the way we played. Um pick to pick up the ball from uh, uh from from our, from defense at, in, at times and driving the ball forward and he was making things happen. So in my eyes, he will start. He'll start, I think. Um so my midfield there will be um, Archie Gray, Pat Matassar, and James Madison. I think will uh, will, will, be, will be the three in midfield, and then it's a three up front, really. Um, well, um, Johnson did have Johnson was okay. I mean, he didn't take on his man as uh, as much as I hoped he would do, and uh, he did kind of uh, slow things down way too much. But um, he did have a good. He did he did play okay. Um, a lot of people calling for him to be dropped, and uh, he's a bench player at best. I would say on this occasion that um, I would say that uh, yeah, um, we'll need we need to start someone else on the, on the right for this game. I, I'm not I'm not dropping him. I'm just a case of ro rotating him because I thought he did okay, and um, and I didn't put up any any numbers, but um, he did kind of keep their um, the left back um, uh, uh, occupied at um, against Leicester. Um, if not um, overly worked, so but I mean, I mean Wilson Oda Bear has um I mean he had his uh, work permit come through on, I think on Monday or was it Tuesday? Would have been Tuesday I think because um they couldn't play on the Monday. 
And um, so I think I would like to see him start, given given a go, the 19-year-old um, uh, French under-21 international. Um, I would like to see him get a start on the right there. And um, and yeah, it will be it will be an exciting one, I think. Um, up front, I would say, we'll, well, on the left, let's start on the left there. Um, we'll have to be, um, although it was, it was kind of a mixed bag for um, for whom and so on, I would say he would probably have to start. Although, would I give the opportunity for for, for Werner? Um, I would say Sonny would start there on, on, on the left. Um, uh, so he'll take the, the left wing berth. Um, our, our stalwart um, and uh, and captain. Uh, so, so, yeah, that'll be my, my left winger there. And up front, why not? Um, yeah, why not play Richarlison? I mean, I know he came on for the last 15 minutes when we were, when we were trying to um, get back into the, we were trying to um, win the game later on against Leicester. But uh, yeah, I think he should, yeah, give him a start. This will give, um, this will mean probably Kulusevski will be on the bench. He can, he can turn things from the bench as well. So um, I think, Going up against Everton's um, defense of, of Tarkovsky and uh, and them, man, uh, you will need someone who's brutal, who's brutal in the air. I know Kulusevski can hold his, can hold his own in the air. I mean, everyone remembers that goal against Manchester City um, last season. Um, but Richarlison, I think, it will keep them very occupied in the air as well. And he's got a, a and, he, and he can out jump them too. So um, that will be my team to start, um, and then have Kulusevski come off the bench and uh, affect things if need be. But Yes, that will be my team for tomorrow. It will be um, Vicaro in goal, uh, Udogia, Fondaven, Romero, and Pedro Porro in midfield. It will be uh, Archie Gray getting his first start under us, um, Pat Matasar, and James Madison to, con to continue. Um, is, uh, up is up taking form there. Um, up front, it will be um, Odebert to start, Kuhnman Son, and uh, lastly but not least, uh, Richarlison. So that will be my uh, team to start on uh, tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll see some similarities as well. But um, yeah, uh, let's see how that uh, unfolds. That should be enough to. Uh, Get us the um the three points against an Everton side who created enough good chances against Brighton. One might say, even though they were got hammered three 0 but uh, the score doesn't tell us his full story. They had enough opportunities, and um they only got the likes of Dominic Calvert um Lewin up front. Um, so yeah, I mean they're always going to create enough chances and then create plenty in the air as well. So um yeah, so we should be on our metal there. We should hopefully um oh. Less of the less well less of the uh, of the areas that led to uh, Leicester's equalisers, uh, I would say, um, and um, players have to get tighter on, on on their players. And I don't want to see Romero not lose focus like he did against uh, Vardy on Monday night. But uh, if we do that, then uh, we'll come away with with with, with, a goal, with the goals. I said on another um um channel that um I think Spurs will win this one two 0 and um and I'll probably get ridiculed for oh clean shit, but um. If you don't aim for it, you never get it. So, um, yeah, that's my thought there, and that's my team. Let me know what you think. Um, do you think it will be? Um, do you think we will challenge? Do you, uh, do you think this team will be enough to challenge? Or what changes would you make? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Come on, you Spurs, let's do this. And you all take care. <laughs>